Don't forget that this beard is getting very uncomfortable for me. I wanted to shave, but I made a promise that I'm not going to shave until we hit 500 subscribers. And it doesn't seem to be working, but I'm going to keep growing it. Share these videos, like them, subscribe, get us to 500, and that skateboard, which I will put right here on the screen. That skateboard, I'm going to give it to somebody. But we gotta get there first. Guess what? Oh, I have to go to the doctor again. This time it's just a checkup. In Winnipeg. In Winnipeg. So I have the day off. We went for a bike ride this morning yet. Elisa had an appointment in the morning, that's why I took the whole day off of work. Because that way we didn't have to get a babysitter. Which would cost the same amount as me missing work anyways, so... Just evens things out. And Elisa's driving today. Her boys are back there. We got an extra one. Yeah, Eli's here today. We're gonna go to my appointment and then we want to go check out the St. Patel Park. That's like right close to my appointment. And see how it is. Daddy! What? Park. We have a soccer field. Yeah? There's a park behind a soccer field. Hi! Yeah, we're just go to my appointment and then we're going to go check out that park and see what we find there and yeah we'll see you soon Ooh, we're in Winnipeg now I don't know what that truck in front of us is for I think it's a city truck I'm not sure He's going down the Primer Highway, just losing it out of the back of his truck. It's just flying everywhere. It's really safe. Real good. Okay, so I'm done at my doctor's and I'm supposed to go back on my pills because they are working, but I can't stop them. Now we are at the St. Fatale Park at the duck pond. What, bud? Daddy! What? I scoop up the water. You want to what? I scoop up the water. Nope. What do you want to look at, babe? What's the playground? You wanna let them go blow up some steam? Look at this goose, it's right by you. Daddy, there's a lot of goose around. Daddy, there's a lot of goose. Careful, Owen. They're expecting food. It's kind of neat how close they get. We don't have any food to give them though. Can you imagine if Chico was here? She would go nuts. <laughs> What do you think? It used to get a little too close for comfort. Yeah? <laughs> Look how close he is. There's a mama goose with a bunch of babies over there. Where? Oh yeah. Oh, whack load of them. Let's go over there.
They're like chickens. They're gonna get bit. It says this authentic British Columbia totem pole originally stood on Billingcough Lumberyard. Neat. Look at these little guys. Little cuties. Ryan, what are you doing? Yeah, don't throw rocks in there. Okay, dudes, let's keep walking. Come. <laughs> They're so cute, Mom. Just like you. <laughs> I found a treasure. You found a treasure? Oh boy. This is rock. Yeah. <laughs> that one here. That's a duck. Yeah. Everywhere we look, there's geese. Geeses. Hi, Mom. More babies over there. What do you think of this place? It's pretty. Definitely doesn't feel like we're That's for sure. Yeah. Well, other than the fact that you can just hear them over there just destroying trees. Can't see them, but you can definitely hear them. I think they're just cleaning up broken branches. Yeah. Mommy. What? Spaceship! Spaceship? Oh boy. That's your spaceship, huh? That's your mommy! Have pee. Yes. We're in the woods, just let him pee. I'm not in the woods. <laughs> you can take me. Look at these things. But I just wanted to be your friend! Little baby ducks. It's like there's a traffic jam. Yeah, there's a traffic jam of gooses. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Hey Goose, I want to be your friend. Yeah, we gotta go home. So, uh, Eli pooped his pants, so Elisa scrubbed them down best she could with what she got. In an outhouse? In an outhouse, she scrubbed them down best she could and put some clean pants on him and stuff, but he was like full of poop. So, we're gonna go home now and make it home and also... In 600 meters, turn right onto Bishop Grandin Boulevard. Our car decided that the check engine light was gonna come on. That's awesome. We're stuck in traffic. Hey. <laughs> there is construction ahead and we're stuck. In the construction. And everyone's going in the right lane right here. Even though there was like a ton of signs clearly saying that that lane cuts off. And then they're getting grumpy when people don't let them in. It's like just go in the left lane when you have the chance. Or have mom here because she lets everybody in because she's nice. We're going so slow because there's construction ahead. You see that big crane over there? And then there's this wagon right here. Oh. It's the Sterling. Okay. And then they got a big crane up there. It looks like they're working on a bridge. Why? Maybe it was broken. They had to fix it. Oh, they're building a new one, Mom says. So cars so. stopped, right? Don't you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? Big crane. Whoa. Whoa. And an esca ex excavator. Excavator. 40 around the curve. Why are these all right here? To show people where they're supposed to drive. And construction ends. Da -da 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 -da. Floor it. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready for a long drive home? No. No. How about now? No. I don't have to. Uh, Does Eli want to drive home? I want to. You want to? Good. Because we've got a long drive ahead of us now. Are you ready to drive home? Duper duper ready. Winnipeg and we're on the highway now and I'm gonna take some time to talk about my skin thing as I think I've shown there's discoloration in my skin here now which I thought was the beginning of a boil again like it has been in the past but according to my doctor it is not the beginning of that what it is is that from previous years, that's where the boils happened, and they damaged my skin. But he also did look at all my blood work. They took a bunch of blood from me and tested it for to see if my lupus is affecting anything else. And he checked my joints in my fingers, and he said everything's good. And my stomach was good, my liver's good, and my eyes are good. So, well, they're not good, but they weren't affected by the pills or by the lupus. So he said he doesn't like saying it, but I am on the lucky side of people who have lupus because I can just take these pills and that's it. He said if that wouldn't have worked, 
then he would have had to do something more invasive and that would have affected me a lot more to the point where I didn't I wouldn't know if I wanted to even do the treatment or just live with the boils so that's a good thing hey mom very good so I got good news today the only bad news that I got is that those pills the hydroxychloroquine I was supposed to take them only two months before summer and he says now he's like I don't know why the doctors would have said that you should be taking those year-round and if they work really well for the whole year then we can look at downing the dose but for now I have to keep it up and just use them constantly so that kind of sucks but I mean with all the news that I got today I got pretty good news So yeah, we're off to Winkler, we are going to bathe Eli for sure, maybe even the other boys, and we're going to clean Owen's shoes because he stepped in goose poop. Whoa! And then I'm going to go pick up my pills and... Supper time! What are you making for supper? Food. <laughs> I vote stir fry. Yes, back to Winkler. All of you have fun. I'm gonna end the vlog there today because this is probably gonna be pretty long already. So have a good day.